Okay, so we have Griffith's quantum mechanics problem 5.31. Um, it says derive the Stefan Boltzmann formula for the total energy density in black body radiation. All right, and um, you can see what we're shooting for in the problem statement there. Uh, so yeah, let's just see if we can get to that. All right, we're going to just look at the um, energy density. As a function of frequency, right? So this is equation going to do is integrate this pretty much okay. um, so here we go uh, yeah so the total energy density right? 0 to infinity of this thing h bar omega cubed pi squared c cubed e to the h bar omega you can see how our chemical potential is zero for this uh, for photons, right? Minus sign here because they're bosons, and we're integrating over the uh, the frequencies here. Okay. Um, we're going to again uh, looking at equation five point one hundred and ten. I'll write that again right here. Okay. X to the s minus 1 over e to the x minus 1 dx is equal to the um, Euler gamma function of s. And so I can write the zeta this time. Riemann zeta function of s. Okay. So we're shooting for that form. So again, um, the obvious choice of, uh, of a substitution to make, x is equal to h bar omega over kvt. All right. So we just have a, a dx is equal to h bar over uh, <laughs> kvt d omega. So here we go. Just gonna plug this in. Um, I'm just going to call this integral i, okay? So i is equal. I guess I could just call it the energy density. Right? Um, zero to infinity. Um, all right. So let's. Uh, write the constants out front first. So we have this h bar and then we have uh, the pi squared c cubed. Okay. Uh, now let's put in the uh, constants for we're, we're going to plug in uh, omega cubed. So we have a kvt over h bar like this and it's cubed and then we have an x cubed on top. And we still have this uh, term to deal with, which was an e to the x minus 1. So you can see our integral taking shape here. And then we need our uh, d omega um, to be changed to uh, dx. So we have another factor of kvt see that the kvt is starting to add up right because we need to get our uh, t to the fourth power for our Stefan Boltzmann okay um, energy density um, just call it I 
All right, let's just gather some stuff together. So uh, right off the bat, we see we have uh, KBT to the fourth power, which is what we wanted, right? KBT, KBT to cubed. All right, and then we also have this H bar, which is also to the fourth power on the bottom with one on the top, so we have an H bar cubed on the bottom. We have our C cubed on the bottom. We have our pi squared. And then we have our nice little integral, which Okay, so now we, we come and we look at our, uh, our integral up here and we see that uh, this is going to be equal to all this stuff out front again. Okay, that's a pi. All right, so um, s in this case, so s minus one is equal to three, so s is equal to four. A gamma, uh, Four, gamma function, um, and zeta function four. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so for nice integer value, we don't have to look this up. It's just uh, so for the gamma function, it's just four minus one factorial, so a three factorial. And then uh, Griffiths gives us the zeta function in this case. over 90. All right, so here we go. Um, so this pi will, uh, we're just going to kill uh, kill off the, the pi squared on the bottom and have a pi squared left on the top. We're going to get our famous uh, kBT to the fourth power. Draw the line right here, keep this separate. Um, okay, so we took care of our pi, we took care of that. All right, um, so we have a, a 6 from this gamma over 90, so that gives us a 15 here on the bottom. We still have our h bar cubed and c cubed, and I believe that that's it. Grab my book real quick. Um, pi squared, right, or kBT to the fourth power, 15 h bar cubed, c cubed, right? And then, yes, I was the energy dens density, which is E divided by B. So there we go. We've just uh, derived the uh, Stefan Boltzmann um, formula for the total energy density in black body radiation.